Welcome, India. It is an absolute honor to be here at Bharat Mandapam, the same place where G20 was hosted at, on September 2023. Well, India's G20 presidency is a culmination of milestones. But the summit will also focus on illustrating issues that are important, in, that is not only India is facing, but also universally faced which also focuses on strategic foreign policies. The one thing that brought to my attention, the one of the goals that G20 has been working for is sustainable development goals. Sustainable development goals is a universal call for action for a fairer, more sustainable future. We, li we live in a world where we are bound by shared challenges and aspirations. And this takes me back to the work that I did during my Beauty with a Purpose project. A little sweet boy called Rahman, a 13-year-old cerebral paralysis, uh, cerebral palsy survivor. Well, when I was talking to him, these few words out of his mouth where he said that, I have so much potential in life. I have so much ambition in life. But my physical disability is not allowing me to pursue it. Is life that unfair? And that broke me. I knew that he was not alone. There are millions of children out there surviving and going through the same thing. And that is why I think sustainable development goals are so important for upliftment and empowering such people in life. And particularly focusing on SDG 4, that means providing quality education. Well, we live in a world where education is the stepping stone to success, your progressive recourse towards march and perfection. Well, Sustainable Development Goals, SDG 4, Quality Education, now focuses on vocational and territorial education training. And I'm so happy about the fact that this has been advocated here among countries that are developing countries and empowering other countries in the generations to come. Sitting here, I'm reminded of the G20 motto, one earth, one future. And the future is to take this goal ahead and march towards a progressive recourse. And also remember that this course is not just for the government to fight. This call is not just the government to fight. Us people, we are the government. And the citizens of this world have their destiny in their own hands. So standing here, I'm reminded that this is a call to serve, not wait to be served. Understand that education is something that takes you towards your progressive march and build towards it. Support everyone across the world. Know that you're not alone and challenge every opportunity that comes your way. Thank you so much. <laughs>